right now we are hiking the Rogue River Trail. It's in like central slash the southern part of Oregon. It's a 37 mile trail. So nothing too intense, but Memorial Day weekend and we just want to get outside, do a short backpacking trip. We'll be gone for like two nights. I never really have hiked with all this long sleeve sun gear while it's hot out. But the reason why we're all geared up like this for this hike is supposedly there is a ton of poison oak and ticks during stretches of this hike. So that's mainly why we're covering up, but I could see the benefit of sun protection as well, because it's hot and it's bright and we don't want skin cancer. Let's get this. This hike is so much different than any other trail that I've done in Oregon so far. It's way more dry and there's not nearly as much tree coverage. Um, I guess that's because we're more southern and central than up in Portland. So I know people hike with these sun hoodies and long pants and stuff to stay cool, keep your body temperature lower, not burn your skin. There's supposed to be moisture wicking, quick dry. But man, I feel like it's a sauna in here. I'm not used to hiking with all my skin covered up like this. I usually wear really short shorts, t-shirt. Hopefully get used to it as the trail progresses though. I guess you lose weight like this more, right? The more you sweat, the more weight you lose. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to lose weight or anything.
We're about 11 miles or so into the hike. I'm getting really, really ravenously hungry. We're gonna look for a camping spot pretty soon here. We got a pretty late start today, so that's why we're not covering too many miles. But the last few miles, the last few miles have been way more strenuous in terms of incline and decline, going up and down, than the entire trail before that. So I think that's making me a little extra hungry and ready, ready to get to camp. I'll see you guys at camp. Gotta chill the beers a little bit before we drink them. So we just got to the spot that we're gonna be camping and look at all the people here. Coachella! <laughs> Seriously, this is literally like 12, 12 miles into the trail and there's just all these tents here. Looks like we're partying tonight. <laughs> motivated to wake up early. Well, to wake up early and smash some miles tomorrow. Actually did make a big difference. Right. That's a pro tip. If you bring beer on a trail and you need to cool it down, toss it in the creek. Super good though. I like really didn't. Do you think that? So begins day two. Significant lighter. Is it actually lighter or is there just placebo? I mean, I got rid of, I ate my heaviest foods last night. Oh, that's and true. And yes, and for lunch too, so. <laughs> All right, we are back on the trail. Yesterday was a pretty rough 12 miles or so, maybe a little less. By the end, we were pretty beat up and we got to that campground and there was a ton of people there and it was really cool. Everyone was respectful and there wasn't any annoying partiers or anything like that. Beautiful campsite, chill night. We are recharged and ready to go. We're gonna try to hike like between 15 to 20 miles today, depending on how we feel. So let's get started.
just dunked my head in the river and it was so, so relieving. If you're wondering why I just jumped in the water fully clothed, it's because all my clothing are like quick dry material and I felt like getting it all wet and hiking in the sun would be really nice. And I was right, because it feels great now. It was pretty damn cold, it was colder than I was expecting. But I also saw a little salamander in there, or a couple of little salamanders, which is cool. Back in the sun we go. It's getting later in the day now and the views are just getting better and better like these are by far the best views of the trip in my opinion but we're trying to we're trying to push the last couple miles here till camp it's been a long day it's been a tiring day and we just want to set up camp already but these pretty views are definitely giving us motivation Last night, a couple bears actually rolled through the place that we're camping and checked it. I don't know if you can tell in the footage, but this thing, my bear bag, got mauled. It's covered in teeth marks. You can literally feel the saliva on the bag. Which is insane. So not only is the bag completely punctured, but also food inside the bag also got destroyed and ripped up. Nice. So I really don't understand the point of these bear bags. Like sure, the bag is still hanging, but the food is ruined. The food's ruined and the bag is in unusable. So I guess if you're hiking in bear country, just use a bear vault. Screw the ursac bag. This was filled with fresh edible food. Not anymore. Trash. And Katrina, Katrina and Andrew's bag got completely stolen away. Like, it's literally gone out of the tree. The branch was snapped and they took the bag, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna be hiking the last 12 miles with no food. But at least no one got mauled by the bear. That's the good thing. Because they came, like, right through our campsite. It's all respect, exactly. Well-earned respect. Yeah, so fangirl. Yes. Good meeting you. Thanks for inviting us in and yeah. being hospitable. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Man, good on your journey, man. Thank you. Oh, I, I look forward to following that. If I'm in Portland, I'll for thank sure. You yeah, nice meeting you. Up. Back on the trail. We seriously just got blessed by the nicest neighbors where we were camping. First of all, we didn't have a spot to camp and people came over to us and were like, hey, you can camp next to us. We got plenty of space. They ended up being super nice. We hung out all night. And then you saw what happened with the bear, the bear bags, and we lost all our, all of our food. 
And then the same neighbors and some other neighbors also felt bad and they were rafting, or at least one of them was. And they had all this extra food, so they blessed us with trail food, which is so amazing. And actually one of the guys, one of the guys that we met named Steve, craziest thing, not only does he have the same birthday as me, which is tomorrow, but he was also born on the exact same day as well. So that's kind of just really weird and crazy. But anyways, we got like 11 more miles to go and then we will have completed the Rogue River Trail. Let's get going. We have finished the trail, the official trail, but we still gotta walk on this road another mile up the road because our car got dropped off at a campground that's like, well, I guess it's only half a mile, but pretty beat, but we made it. <laughs> 